historic NFT collection on sale at Christie's today. The well-known auction house selling off a set of curio cards, digital collectibles, considered the first art NFTs years ago on the Ethereum blockchain. And in a nod to their popularity, the 31 NFTs in total selling for 393 Ether or about 1.3 million US dollars. We'll also up for auction today original artwork that inspired ensuing NFTs by well-known entrepreneur Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary's the CEO of VaynerMedia and the creator of V Friends, an NFT community. And Gary joins me now. Gary, busy day for you per usual, so thank you so much for coming on. How did the auction go? It went tremendously well. I mean, anytime you're in a position to see those kind of numbers, um, on the board on something that came from your mind, your imagination that you drew. Um, it was a humbling day. Humbling day, collectively selling for about $1.3 million. These five drawings, absolutely incredible. Here's a breakdown. <laughs> the Empathetic <laughs> Elephant, Gratitude Gorilla, Diamond Hands, You're Gonna Die, Fly, and Tremendous Tiger. Uh, pretty impressive, Gary. I do have to ask you, because you are the digital wizard, how does the fact that your original physical pieces uh, were sold validate the work that you are doing on digital in the NFT space? I think most people, you know, listen, if people are just watching this and haven't heard of this project, they're like, what is even going on here right now? And for me, a lot of what's going on here right now is grounded in history with contemporary artists, the Warhols, the Pollocks. And, and I'm not saying I'm in that class, but I am saying X Copy and many others in the digital space are this generation's that. For my project specifically, you have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who've been listening very careful for over a decade and me talking about building intellectual property. And I think they're looking at this more as Disney cells, one of a kind, or the original cells from Star Wars or Transformers. And I have a lot of work to do over the next 40 years to build that intellectual property. Mm -hmm. And here's a look at the auction that we saw uh, transpiring on the internet, this was our view from the internet, at uh, Christie's yep. earlier today where Gary's art actually sold. Uh, very cool. I do wanna talk about these curio cards because they were on sale yes. today as well, historic in their own right. I do wonder, um, fraud we know has been prevalent in the art market for decades, so how do you discern as an investor, as a consumer, uh, between fact and fraud when you look at digital art like this? I mean, that's the best part of the blockchain. There is no fraud involved in curio cards. It was easier for the pictures that I just sold to be fake than the curio cards that just went on the blockchain. That is the obsession of so many that the provenance and the truth plays out on the blockchain much more than it did in the world that we all lived in. And curio cards are super interesting, right? Because earlier this year, it was all about CryptoPunks, and it still is, and I still believe that is the project. However, it was like CryptoPunks, the first project, CryptoPunks, the first project, and out of nowhere, in March, it's like, wait a minute, there's this thing called curio cards that was actually before CryptoPunks, and unlike the world where we had a debate and have archeologists look at the 1800s, 1500s. It was just on the blockchain that Curio cards were in fact made before CryptoPunks, which then started to build momentum culminating in today's iconic sale. Mm -hmm. So I do wanna talk more about the Ethereum blockchain because that is I think what makes these Curio cards in the auction today so unique. Is it the case that the Ethereum blockchain is still the best suited for digital art and NFTs? I think it's by far the most developed on and most popular, but Solano is, is doing some really great work. I'm incredibly long ETH, I'm a fan. Um, but the reality is, you know, Yahoo was the leading search engine and felt like that was gonna be the thing until Google came along in the early 2000s. And so anybody who will tell you that they know which blockchain to bet the farm on now is being completely inappropriate. It, we are just way, way, way too early in it. However, the scale and the momentum of the last four years culminating in so much of what's going on now and the level two stuff and the London Fork, you know, there's a lot of reasons to be enthusiastic about Ethereum. Okay, well, let's talk about the outlook for cryptocurrency. Tokens like Bitcoin and Ether soaring today. Uh, finally, some reprieve. They're still off their highs though. How much does China's crackdown on crypto affect this space? I mean, look, every time China has done regulations, you've seen the market dip. I think the full out ban that they're in now and to see the prices where they are feels as though it's priced in. You know, 
I'm very uncomfortable talking about things that I don't know. I can talk about why human beings buy NFTs because I understand why people care about social media and fashion and the psychology of communication. Talking about currencies is out of my realm. And so, you know, to answer a question directly, it feels like it's priced in because we're now at the absolute final spot with China. But the reality is, is currencies is not exactly where mm. I play. I just don't understand it as well. So you're, you're not a cryptocurrency investor? I am. I mean, I bought Bitcoin very early on. Big shout out to Aaron Battalion, you know, years and years ago. And I sit on it because I do believe it has the brand. But no, I don't, I don't buy, you know, Solana, I'll buy for NFTs. I understand why you'll wear that yellow outfit, which is lovely, why I wear this hat, why, why people drive BMWs, why they want Warhols. I understand the psychology of communication. Currency and trading and financial arbitrage has never been a passion of mine or an expertise. Okay, uh, well, you've got a lot of accolades to boast already. Gary, is artist now an emerging focus for you? Yes, but, but in the way that I can do it, right? I, again, I don't have any delusion that a lot of people look at my doodles and think it's garbage, but I also believe that that is not my point. My point is I'm drawing from myself because I want it to be my intellectual property, and then I will convert it. No different than the first picture of Bart Simpson does not look like what we see today, or the first picture of Mickey Mouse that was drawn by Walt Disney, what we have today. I needed to establish my universe, and the next 40 years, I'm gonna make a real run at Hello Kitty and Harry Potter and, and Star Wars, and I'm gonna give it a run, and I feel very confident in my storytelling and marketing and demand creation capabilities. What's the next auction that your followers can look forward to? I, I don't, you know, actually, I think that was what was so unique about today. I'm not really looking to do too much more. I'd like to keep the original drawings of the friends for my family. And then eventually, what, if I can pull off this agenda, hopefully it sits in, a, in an amusement park or a museum. And so I, I don't plan on maybe once or twice a year for charity or things of that nature. But I'm not looking to really let any more of these pieces go. All right, Gary Vaynerchuk, entrepreneur, CEO, and creator at the Friends and NFT community. Uh, Gary, thanks so much for the time and congratulations on the sale today.